This is part one of our review of arc length, sector area, and volume. We'll call it test C. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on um, looking at circumference and area and uh, radius. These are the formulas for this unit. Please make sure you have each one of these formulas memorized before you go in to take any sort of a test on this unit. Okay, so we'll refer back to these throughout the uh, review here. So the first problem, find the circumference of the circle. Well, uh, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times the radius. So the circumference will be 2 pi times 12 and so that means the circumference is going to be 24 pi inches right don't forget your units so that is the circumference um, if we wanted it as a decimal um, so hold on, 24 pi we'd have to toggle it that's 75.398 75.40 Okay, do they tell us what to leave it in? No, so I'll just do both. Um, so that was number one. Number two, a circle with diameter of 20 feet. Well, um, if the diameter is 20, okay, uh, if the diameter is 20, that means the radius is 10. Okay, I guess we didn't really need a picture for something that simple. Um, so anyway, if the radius is 10, then that means the circumference is 2 pi times 10. So the circumference is 20 pi, OK, or as a decimal, and don't forget the units, feet. OK, so 20 pi, we'll have to toggle it, 62.83. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, find the area of the circle. All right, the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's pi times 11 squared. So that is 121 pi. 121 pi, if we toggle it, that's 380.13. Uh, we're talking about area, so this will be square centimeters. Okay, circle with a diameter of 54.5. Well, if the diameter is 54 point, uh, I'm sorry, 55.4. All right, if we divide that by 2, we'll have the radius, so 27.7. Okay, so... Uh, we're supposed to be finding the area. So the area is uh, pi r squared. So that's pi times 27.7 .7 squared. Now if I wanted an exact answer, we'd have to square the 27.7 .7 separately. Okay, so I could go 27.7 .7 squared and that is 767.29 pi. Okay, so that would be an exact answer. There was no rounding that happened. 
All right, but if I want an approximate answer, I'll go ahead and get pi in there. Okay, so I, right now I can just go times pi. So um, 2410.51. All right, with no pi. Um, let's not forget the units. The, these were yards. So this will be square yards. All right, number five. Find the radius of the circle if the area is given. If I give you the area, start by writing the formula for the area. Okay, we know that the formula for the area of a circle, all right, is pi r squared. So I gave you the area. So that means um, th um, 35.67 is equal to pi r squared. We're supposed to find the radius. It's right there. So let's divide both sides by pi. Okay, that will cancel out these pi's. All right, so far, that means I have r squared is equal to 35.67 over pi. Now, I could divide this right now, but I'd have to round, and I hate to round if I don't have to. So I'm going to leave it as a fraction for now. Um, to get r by itself, I will take the square root of both sides. Okay, so that is going to give me the radius that I'm looking for. All right, this should be the final answer. So square root of 35.67. So square root of 35.67 over pi, all of it. Okay, so that's 3.3. Three seven got to round up. And this is a radius, so it'll just be centimeters. Okay, watch out for your units. Okay. Number six, find the area of the circle if the circumference is. If I give you the circumference, write down the circumference formula. So the circumference is 2 pi times the radius. Um, so we'll just take the uh, 10 pi and substitute it in. So that'll give us 10 pi is equal to 2 pi r. Don't forget the pi, it's 10 pi. Um, so now we would divide both sides by 2 pi. OK. So this cancels out. Over here, the pi's cancel out. So I'm coming up with um, the radius, uh, 10 divided by 2, is 5. OK, but this is not the final answer. OK, pay attention. We were supposed to find the area of the circle. So don't stop here. you got to pay attention to what you're being asked to find. So we got to keep going. We found the radius. That's great. Um, but now we're supposed to find the area. So we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. Luckily, we have r now. So that means the area is going to be um, pi times 5 squared. OK, so that tells me that we're going to have the area is 25 pi. And we had inches, so this will be square inches. And let's go ahead and also make this a decimal. So 25 pi. All right, forgot to toggle it. Um, so 78.54, got to round up. Okay, that's the answer number six. All right, number seven, arc length. All right, as soon as we're talking about arc length and sector area, when you're looking at sort of a 
slice, like a piece of pizza. All right, that's called a sector. Um, then uh, you should be thinking about this. Okay, part over whole equals part over whole. On one side, we're going to always do degrees. Uh, but on the other side, um, if it's you know arc length, then that's length we're dealing with. If it's area, then we'll do area. So in this case, uh, we're supposed to find the arc length. So we should be thinking part over whole equals part over whole. Okay, on the right hand side, um, let's see, so find the arc length, and it says AB, so making sure that the arc length matches the angle that they gave us, so it does. So 50 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees. That's part over whole. Now, um, we're supposed to find the arc length, so that is the part, all right, unknown, so I'll just call that x. Now, the whole, the whole length is the circumference, okay? So, understand, you know, off to the side, when we say part over whole, for length, that the whole is circumference. So, that's 2 pi times the radius, which is 5. Okay, so my circumference is 10 pi. Now, if this had been area, I would have done pi r squared, and it would be 25 pi instead. So just be careful. So I'm going to take that 10 pi and put it where it goes. So now it's just a matter of cross multiplying and such. Um, okay. Obviously, this will simplify down to 5 over 36, okay, if you divide these both by 10. So I'm going to cross multiply using the smaller numbers. Okay, so that is going to give me um, 36x, okay, along the, and 5 times 10 is 50, so that'll be uh, 50 pi. And then I just have to divide both sides by 36. Okay, so that's going to give me x equals. Um, let's see, 50 pi over 36 reduces a bit. So 50 pi over 36, 25 pi over 18. So that would be my exact answer, 25 pi over 18. And this is a length in centimeters, so centimeters. OK, so that is the exact answer. Or we can toggle it, and that's 4.36. centimeters. All right, looking over here at number eight. Uh, we're still finding arc length, but be careful. Look at these letters, E, G, F. All right, let me highlight this in a different color to make it really clear. E, G, F is the long way around. E through G and back around to F. All right, EGF is the major arc. So this 100 degrees is not the angle that we really need. We need the one that matches the arc that they asked us for. So of course we are going to subtract from 360. All right, so if I take 360 minus 100, of course that's 260. All right, so 260 degrees, that's what we'll use, not the 100. All right, now aside from that, we're back to part over whole um, equals part over whole. Okay, so um, yeah, let's just set that up. So on the one side, we're talking about 260 over 360. All right, part over whole. Um, on the left side, we're still talking about arc length, just like before. Um, so we're still supposed to find that partial length. 
So we're still dealing with circumference down here. Okay, so the circumference is going to be um, still 2 pi times the radius. So that circumference is going to be 2 pi times 7. So the circumference is 14 pi. So when we say part over whole, that's the circumference is the whole, 14 pi. Okay, um, I like to reduce this. 260 over 360 That's 13 over 18. Okay, so if I cross multiply, that gives me 18x is equal to, now 13 times 14, All right, 182 pi. Okay, it's 13 times 14 pi. Um, so 182 pi. All right, and then divide by 18. Okay, so first here comes my exact answer. 182 pi over 18. That's 91 pi over 9. All right, and uh, we're dealing with centimeters, and we're still talking about arc length. All right, remember, it's what we were asked to find arc length. So that's still centimeters. So that's going to be the exact answer. Okay, or we can toggle it and get 31.76. Okay, that's the answer to number eight. All right, that's long enough for one video. So that'll be the end of part one. Um, we will continue with part two and uh, find out more about circles and perimeter, perimeter and spheres, prisms, pyramids, lots more to come. I'll see you on the next video.